So I'm working on a mix right now, and when I solo up the bass part, there's a few parts where there's pops and clicks in the track. So rather than redoing it, I'm going to use Isotope's RX-9 D-Click to get rid of it. So let's take a listen to the small part of this bass line here, and I will show you what I'm talking about. So this channel right here, this is the bass amp with a Beta 52 mic on it. This is the bass amp output going into the interface, and this is the bass going directly into the interface. So let's take a listen to this and hear what this is doing. So right in this area here, there is a click. Let's listen to that again. You know, when you're watching the uh, cursor go over this section here, it sounds like it's right here, but there is a little bit of latency happening on this session because I have a ton of plugins and different things that are is slowing it down. So my guess is the click is more back here. I don't want to cut it right here, so I'm going to start back here, and I'm going to go all the way through this part right here. Okay. Then what I'm going to do in Pro Tools, I'm going to come up to Audio Suite, and then I'm going to come down to noise reduction, down to the RX9 D click. Now there's a few different settings on here that I can use. So we'll start with a single band setting and see what happens. And I'm going to put the click widening up a little bit, and then I'm going to put sensitivity up a little bit. And then let's listen to this little preview processing. This isn't always very accurate, so I don't always go by what I'm hearing here. Sounds, sounds good there. So let's render that and see what happens. Okay, so let's play that and see if it works. Nope, click is still there. So what we're going to do now is undo that, and then we're going to come down here. Now there's two other options here we can do. Multiband periodic clicks or multiband random clicks. I have more success with the random clicks, so we're going to go with that. We're going to keep the settings all where they're at, and then we're just going to click Render. Now let's take a listen to that and see what happened. Clicks are all gone. Literally that fast and that simple. Anyway, hopefully that was helpful. If you're not a subscriber yet, I would love it if you would subscribe. If this video was helpful, would you give me a thumbs up? I appreciate it, and we will see you in the next video. Have a great day.